We are on our way to the bathroom to take a crap. Why on earth would you document such a thing, Amy Gross? Like that's so gross. Exactly. Because we live in an age where everybody's documenting everything. It's not even fucking necessary. I don't understand why people are so ashamed of things like poop falling out of their ass. Poop falls out of everybody's ass, you guys. Like, there is no special person that doesn't poop, you know? Like, I mean, Prince took a shit, okay? Like, I know that people don't think that Prince was responsible for any shit, but he was. Um, <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I think that people just kind of, like, have this idea of, like, you know, like, talented people, how they're just, like, these magical people that just don't experience human things, you know, like fecal matter. Um, it's like every time the prince takes a shit, it's just like, you know, like stars come out of his ass. such a funny thought like just just imagine like prince taking a shit <laughs> you know how beautiful that man was like just just picture like a bunch of like and they're not even like stars like you know like you know from the cosmos they're like <laughs> just like like cartoon kind of stars you know what i mean like like whenever like like, you know, in cartoons when, like, somebody gets bonked in the head and, like, they see stars. Like, that kind of shit would come out of Prince's ass. <laughs> it's funny, you guys. It's funny. <laughs> You're stupid if you don't laugh. Anyway. Um, now I'm going to wipe my ass with this fancy-ass toilet paper that I got. Sh -sh -sh Sherman, by the way. I don't buy the cheap shit. I I hate nasty ass toilet paper, like toilet paper that is like rough and dirty. Like it's totally worth that extra few dollars, you know? Because then you have a much more enjoyable bathroom experience. And your asshole isn't, you know, uncomfortable. I mean, it's like you're already, like, shitting, and, like, some, some shits are painful. It's like, don't you want, like, soft toilet paper to, you know, soothe your asshole after, after that giant hot chicken shit? <laughs> I know that I do. <laughs> Why don't you advertise for toilet paper? <laughs> You would be so good at it. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna wash my hands, y'all. I'm gonna wash my hands. I, I wouldn't suggest putting your laptop on the sink. <laughs> She's not very smart. Okay, well, I really am gonna wash my hands though. That's cool, I hope. Okay, I wasn't wearing these tights, but you can see my boobs. But, uh, yeah, so, what are we talking about? Probably Brendan's or something. There's this chick in the comedy scene that really doesn't like me because she thinks I'm a racist. Well, that, that's really not the reason why she doesn't like me. She doesn't like me because I made racism funny. And that, I guess that really bothers her. 
but I don't think it's because of like I don't think it has to do with race. I think it's more because I'm another female in the scene that's funny, and I happen to be white and I act black, and so <laughs> it's troublesome. I mean, I feel like I'm a threat to women because I'm so different. And, like, women just, like, want to stand out so bad, and they don't because they just say the same generic shit, you know? But if you're like me, and you just don't care, and you just say fucked up shit, and you're like, whatever, then you stand out naturally. You don't even have to try. But because of all this shit, is she, like, misinterpreted? Because I did a lot of, like, really satirical material that I knew was, like, you know, a huge risk. I took a huge risk, and, you know, I eat shit for it. But I think it's better to take risks if you don't take risks, like, why the fuck do you do anything? Um, but it's like, I take risks about stuff that I care about, about stuff that I'm passionate about. And like, one of those things happens to be racism. And, um, but I knew that it was going to get misinterpreted. Like the people are going to get the exact opposite from it that I was anticipating. And, um, or that, you know, they were going to get the opposite from what, like, I, you know, wanted them to get out of it. But I feel like it was worth the risk, though. Um, but anyway, I feel like I really have to, like, explain myself more now because of that situation. And um, so, anyway, um, so it's like I'm, I, I get nervous, like, when I talk about stuff, but, like, not nervous enough to not talk about it, of course. Uh, but... I kind of like want to eat this, I'm really high. Is that silly? I don't think it's silly. Means you'll appreciate it a lot more. Yeah, dude. Totally. Totally. But yeah, I mean, if I ever like say anything that's like racist, I'm more than likely making fun of white people. So. It's like, yeah, I mean, anytime that you, you do any kind of, like, controversial material, like, you have to, like, explain it to people that, you know, don't hear all of it. They just hear one part of it. And that's the trick to it. I don't think I've mastered the trick or anything. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take this to the comedy club. I think I'm also going to, like, take a sandwich. Why do you call it a comedy club? It's not a comedy club. It's like a shitty bar. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is. It's not a shitty bar. Oh, shit. I like to Cool. Um, yeah, but see, there's this other bar that I usually go to after this bar, but, like, I don't want to go now, because the host, who's, like, a colleague of mine, and I really respect him, and I, you know, I think he's a sweetheart, but it's just, like, he told me, like, you know, like, that I, sh I shouldn't talk about a lot of these things that I talk about, and I'm like, man, like, why are you trying to censor me? Like, this is fucking comedy, like, it's supposed to be creative and well I mean it's not it's not supposed to be anything Amy like now you're trying to define it don't don't be like all these people that you don't agree with I wish that that people like had the balls that I have <laughs> nobody's gonna have the balls that you have though because you don't have actual balls that's why you have so many balls. Gotta make up for the lack of balls. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? You know, you can put that on your. <laughs> this is music, you guys. This is my ma 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 music. Okay.
So, on this sheet of paper, you're going to tell yourself that you quit Saturday night. Uh, what was that, that joke? Children. <laughs> child. I'm the child. Okay. 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 Yeah, I was hoping that I could do something like like this. I'll show you guys. I wrote this down. I thought it was I thought it was a good idea. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't, but that was based on emotions. Well why don't we go with this then? Oh, okay. <laughs> Why the fuck did you touch that? That was stupid. Yeah, I just touched a hot pan. That was that was dumb. Yeah. Okay. Is there? Uh, sign up to seven thirty. So you're gonna have to leave in about an hour. So it's not smart. I'm like, I guess you could make another batch of cookies if you really wanted to, but it's... Oh, that really hurts now. Fuck. I don't know why the fuck you did that. Like, I can't even tell you how many times you've done that in your lifetime, baby. Oh, yeah, I know. It's, it's a lot. I've done that a lot in my lifetime. It's very true. She's right. She's not just being a bitch. <laughs> okay. I've seen a lot of videos, you guys. I think I've shot, like, it's probably like the 10th video I've shot. Up, like I have to like watch the ones that I've already put up and like I just keep adding you know I'm not the victim though I did it to myself leave here at this time and you're going to be early and like I always leave later and I show up like after it starts. Every time man. Okay. Okay. good at like interacting with people you know when there's like this expectation and shit like that and even though like I know the people in the scene and I, I guess I've been doing it for like a year or so I feel like I've, I've like established myself in the scene. Just saying that is like really, you know, I feel ridiculous saying that. But uh
cookie. If I eat this cookie in exactly five minutes, then like my cookie will kick in exactly like what time the show starts. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, you guys? I try to think perfectly like that. Wait, don't eat the whole thing. You're always tempted to eat the whole thing. Well, I eat the whole thing because, like, I don't know how strong it is. So, yeah, but you don't need to. I'm going to eat the burnt ones. <laughs> oh, fine. Let's do the whole thing. Let's do it. They're really good too. You can't even like, I mean, you can taste the weed, but I've been told that the weed complements the cookie. They're all the old ones. I need to eat the old ones before I eat the new ones, but. You can take the old ones to the show. I'm guessing that probably only three people cried when David Bowie died. Three people can admit it. Yeah. Like, I want to reward people for doing this shit, you know? Guys, that's how you can manipulate people, though. That's smart. Because, yeah, like the internet accuses me of being manipulative. And I know that I can. I know that I can totally be manipulative. I'm not I'm not saying that I'm above that, but I mean, like now that I know all about my mental illness, like I can't really rationalize that in my head. 
So it doesn't matter how how much she did me wrong, you know, like I I can't justify, you know, behaving like that because it just makes me look bad, you know? People don't realize that. Like like when you act when you act wrong, like you look bad doing that. Okay, so let's see. Emotions, apathetic. That was the first one that I thought of. <laughs> Stuff that sounds apathetic to me. Um, whenever I talk about suicide, and that's not true though. Like, I mean, suicide can be interpreted in like two ways. It can either be like, fuck it, I'm gonna kill myself. Like there's that suicidal joke or there's like the suicidal joke that's like, fuck it, I care way too much. I'm really, really passionate and nobody understands me. So that's more, that's not apathetic suicide. So I feel like if I put it in this apathetic category, it, it's misleading. But I did put bathing, circled it very true like yeah but I, I get apathetic and I'm like fuck it like why why take a shower you know like the world's so dirty <laughs> okay then there's defensive angry cluster B <laughs> I'm in the cluster B personality disorders so cluster B gets a really bad rep so I could just bitch about that you know a psychiatrist Just doctors in general, really. Ridiculous, silly willy. So I guess that's where I could talk about farting or something like that. <laughs> but exhibitionist, sexy addict. Cause I like to relate addiction to sex or like I like to relate addiction to like um, love and like understanding and all that, because that's like what you tell yourself, like when you're addicted to something, like, like it really becomes like an abusive relationship. So that's why I, I paired those two together, but okay. So smug slash arrogant, narcissist, psychological food chain, emotions slash tears slash victim. I am very arrogant about my emotional nature. And I was talking to another friend of mine, my friend Kimmy, and we were talking about just like pain, you know, like physical pain, emotional pain, psychological pain. It's, it's, it's just like all the same. Um, and after a while, you just like, you become like immune to it. And you're just like, I don't, I don't care anymore, you know? And then it becomes like the superpower. And then like, you just feel so much more awesome than like the people next to you because you're like, you know, I'm crying. I'm crying in a super commercial, like, what are you crying over? You know, like, oh, your grandmother has to die in order for you to cry. You know, I just cry thinking about my grandmother dying. <laughs> she doesn't even have to die. Speaking of that, she probably will die pretty soon because she's getting up there, man. I think she's like 90. She's awesome, though. My grandmother's awesome. It's weird because, like, she gave birth to my dad, and my dad is, like, the most uptight motherfucker in the world. So like maybe like the coolness like skipped a generation or some shit. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway, gotta keep going with the set list. I think I have to take another shit.